What up, though? What up, though? And I'm uh, back with another video. I want to tell y'all about the neighborhood I grew up in. So, uh, oh, happy 313 day. All my fellow Detroit natives, you know what I'm saying? Fellow Detroiters, you know what I'm saying? 313, you already know. March 13th, Detroit 313 day. It's a Detroit holiday. You know what I'm saying? About to go crazy around this bitch. But well, ain't going to be too much tonight going on. It's snowing like a motherfucker. It's cold, too. But, yeah. Anyways, um, I want to tell y'all about the hood I grew up in. So, again, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the west side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I grew up in uh, I grew up in a neighborhood called Brightmoor, Brightmoor Community. It's like a two square mile radius, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's a little community, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually about to pass this bitch right now. So uh, it runs from like from like sick, like Puritan, uh, from like Puritan to school crap. Telegraph to uh, Evergreen, Evergreen back to Telegraph, school crap back to Puritan. You could throw, you could throw six mile up in there. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, yeah, it's like, it, it, you know, you gotta be from this bitch to understand Brightmo. But Brightmo is like a little community. You know what I'm saying? And it's uh, uh, growing up, man. When I was growing up over there, like I said, I was born in 1988. So you know, I grew up uh, Brightmo in the 90s. We moved to Brightmo in 1994. Yeah, we, we uh, moved to Brightmo in 1994, you know what I'm saying? So, from 1994, I moved out in 2006. So, I was over there that whole time, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, bro, I've seen a lot of crazy shit. Like, it's the it's the hood. Like, that was one of the hoods of, 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 the hoods of all hoods. Like, that was a hood, like, nobody wanted to step foot in, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was really that. And honestly, Brightmo still to this day holds that rep. You know what I'm saying? Like Brightmo is one of the hoods that people don't want no smoke with. People, you know, not not trying to, not trying to say that, but you know, oh he good up man. But uh, yeah, Brightmo is like not not trying to you know glorify that shit, but Brightmo is really really that. Brightmo is like a hood that you don't want to be in at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? And uh. Yeah, bro, I, uh, I, lived, I, I lived and I survived that shit, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, like I said, 1994 to 2006, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I grew up over there, but yeah, I seen a lot of wild, crazy shit over there. You already know, in the 90s, Brightmo was, it was cool, but it's the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Drugs was, you know, drugs was uh, being sold, you know what I'm saying? Uh, black on black crime was like at an all-time high, you know what I'm saying? It's the 90s. West Side shit, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. I seen a lot of shit go down through that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like this one particular story, it was funny as hell because it actually came up in my head like, like recently, you know what I'm saying? So fucking uh, me and my boys, bro, we kids, man. I don't even think we were teenagers. We were like 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We little ass kids, bro, outside playing. We in front of my crib, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on Linden and Bentley. You know what I'm saying that's a little little street, you know what I'm saying? That's the block Linden and Bentler, you know what I'm saying? I was in I was in the Moya. I was really in that we call it the Moya. I was really in Brightmo. So yeah, I grew up on Linden and Bentler, you know what I'm saying? I was, I had two cribs over there. So that's where I spent 95 to, I mean 94 to 2006. Two different cribs, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, bro. I uh, me and me and my boys, we playing in the street, you know what I'm saying? Little badass kids we playing. So uh Across from my crib, literally across from my crib, it was a dope house. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, fucking, um, we playing this shit, you know what I'm saying? They doing what they do, of course. So, uh, this dude, dumbass old nigga, pulls up. But I don't think he was trying to cop that, because I, I think he wanted some weed, you know what I'm saying? That's what I really think he wanted. I think he wanted some weed. I don't think he actually came over there for drugs. But yeah, dog, pull up. Hop out, you know what I'm saying? Leaves his car running. The door open and everything. Leaves his car open. The door uh leaves his car running. The door open and everything. That nigga hop out, go to the dope house. I kid you not. As soon as that nigga was about to proceed to knock some crackhead bitch come out of nowhere running. Looking dumb as hell in house shoes, a long ass trench coat, 
black as hell, looking stupid than a motherfucker, hops in his shit and get the fuck on, dog. And the way my man's jumped up in the air and stumped on the ground like a big ass kid was the funniest shit ever, bro. I will never forget that. That shit was so motherfucking funny. Like, dog literally hopped in the air and stumped on the ground. I'm like, no. Yep, crackhead bitch took his car, bro. But I'm like, that's your fault, my nigga. You in the hood. You leave your car running. You leave the door open. What you thought you was about to hop up in there? You thought you was about that was about to be a quick transaction, nigga? It probably was, but still, you stupid, bro. You should have took your time, man. That shit was funny as hell. Yeah, dog got his shit ran, bro. Man, uh, yeah, growing up in Brightmo, man, I seen a lot of shit, bro. But yeah, um... I got a lot of stories. I can go all day about the shit I seen in Brightmo, man. I can go all motherfucking day. But yeah, dog, uh, that was just one of the crazy stories I've uh, experienced. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't believe that nigga did that. Yeah, she got that motherfucker quick. It's like her ass was just out here waiting on some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, I'm going to do a part two, man. I got some business to take care of. But a uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your dog, Aunt Dog, the biggest dog of them all, the dog of all dogs. Growing up in Brightmo Park, one part two coming. I love y'all, Aunt Dog. Dog's out.